Hello, everybody, and welcome to Talk About It Tuesday. Uh, this is Giving Tuesday, actually, mm. which I feel is so appropriate for Why is that? our series, Be Generous Always, oh, because yeah. it encourages people to give, mm. give their money, yeah. well, it's specifically money, yes. to uh, organizations and causes that they believe in and would like to support. So, yes, ma'am. Uh, I'm George Ann. I'm Eric. And this is our weekly segment where we get to spend a little bit of time talking with you about what we learned on the Sunday before. So uh, we are in Gener Be Generous Always, as I already mentioned, and um, the theme of the series is how do we deal with our finances, uh, not only responsibly, but in a way that honors God. And so one of the big, uh, big ideas from this weekend, well, there's usually only one big idea, but one of the big things was learning how to say no will take the guessing out of your yesing. And um, wait, unpack that a little bit for me. I, this was probably one of the hardest sermons for me to listen to in a while, because a lot of times he, I was like, dang it, dang it. <laughs> like, ouch, I need dang to do it. that? Like, I should say no more often, but I don't. Well, Josh mentioned um, energy drinks, and you that and I, are, <laughs> I know yeah. we already had this conversation on Sunday about uh, drive through coffee. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. The last two weeks of be generous always. <laughs> I'm actually blushing right now <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> because that's, that's what hit me the hardest this Sunday was when he was talking about all the microtransactions. Yes. Like, Wait, so buying coffee almost every single day is a bad thing. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. the thing <laughs> the thing is that when like if you've done financial peace university, you know, mm -hmm. you can put that as a line item in your yeah. budget and then it's okay. But the the point that he was trying to make is the when you like <laughs> when you constantly make those purchases and you don't account for them in your budget, yeah. you get in big trouble. Yeah. And that's that's what gets me like we talked about between coffees and stopping, like he said, at gas stations and be like, oh, I'll just get two for four energy drinks. Yep. <laughs> I did and that then, with the bubblies yeah. the other day. And the next thing I know, I'm like, well, I get paid in half a week and I have no money. <laughs> I was like, I wonder why. So self-sacrifice, mm. uh, I guess, is like, okay, I want a coffee, but I have a coffee maker at home. So do you have a coffee maker? Uh, does Brad, Brad have? Does, yeah. Okay, yeah. So I want a coffee now, but I'm gonna make myself wait till I get home because <laughs> Josh, I think he said the coffee at home was 17 cents or something. Mine's probably a dollar because yeah. I have an espresso. But um, anyway, the point is that uh, you know, exercising self restraint, not not for the purpose of just like denying yourself stuff that you want, but for the purpose of being able to have margin. In your budget, for when it comes time generosity, you don't have to time to be generous. You don't have to, like you know, scramble and check your bank app and you know think, mm -hmm. do I have the money for that and so on. Or when events like this come up to order um, gingerbread houses or the night before Christmas or socks and underwear and all of the things that we're collecting this month. You don't have to be like, I can't do that because I, I bought, bought coffee, coffee 16 times <laughs> this month. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. Well, and, you know, you can, like, do things to justify it in your mind because I'm like, okay, well, I'm not going to go to Starbucks, but I'll get coffee at Dunk's because it's half the price. But it's, <laughs> it's, like $2 it's still. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and, you know, the, the, the slide that we put up on stories yesterday was um, only Jesus can maximize our contentment. And, you know, I think that the world does send us so many. <laughs> There's a ridiculous commercial that they always have uh, around Christmas where the guy, like, it's always the guy. Of course. The guy, like, buys his wife a car yeah. or, like, a $60,000 SUV for Christmas and, like, <laughs> surprises her with it. Terrible idea. Ladies and gentlemen, don't do that. Unless um, you want to buy me one for Christmas. <laughs> well, 
Well, but the point is, you know, they're trying to sell the message to us that the more things we get, the happier we will be. Yeah. And why is that false? I mean, <laughs> I, I think all you have to do is look at America as a whole and that our, our drastic individualism and, and consumerism and sure isn't working. It is not working. We're the, the best, most well-off country to ever have existed. And things, We're the most anxious, most yeah. depressed. Things haven't seemed to really get much better. So Yeah. I follow uh, a couple of minimalism pages yeah. on Facebook, and, um, you know, they talk about, like, if, if, like, you know, the mess in your house is causing you anxiety, it's because you have too much stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and, I mean, you think about that at such an, like, a, a micro level of it is, like, yeah, I don't have as many things to take care of. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, so that's, that's not necessarily, like, a faith-based um, view towards it. But, you know, we're not meant to, like, cling on to this stuff. It, yeah. It, in the end, it does nothing for us. And I think anybody who has, like, had to deal with, um, you know, the death of a parent or relative and then to deal with all of the stuff that's left over afterwards, you're really left thinking, like, what is the point of all of this? Yeah. Well, I think there is, there is wisdom in it that, like, at the end of the day, like, where we are putting our, like, time and money and everything is where our heart is. And if... If all yep. of your money is going to, like, keeping up with the Joneses and making sure you, everybody realizes what car you drive and that yeah. you have all the new stuff. Like, I was talking to, to Taylor, and the thing that frustrated me the most was I was going through TikTok, and it was a person with a one of the throwaway Starbucks cups making coffee to go to work. And it's like, how because, ridiculous this is. Because they wanted somebody to that, think they had yeah, Starbucks. How well. <laughs> ridiculous is it that we, like, will not only spend Brands. a crap type of money, but then, like, go the furthest step to, like, fake it. And it's like, we have a problem. Yes. All right. So to wrap this up, we are going to say that, you know, it's Giving Tuesday. So we would love it if you would... Um, this is, this is also on our Facebook page, but this is a little uh, handout and graphic about all of the ways that you can give, uh, not only to movement, but also to support kids in foster care and foster families. And um, so if you haven't done that yet, today's a great day to do it. Yep. And um, we're just going to keep challenging throughout this series and always really, um, you know, ways that you can be generous to those around you and... Handle finances in a way that honors God. So thank you for joining us tonight, uh, and we'll see you back here on Sunday at 9.30 and 11, and then next week again, Tuesday, 8 p.m. on Facebook and YouTube. Yep. All right, thanks for joining us. Have a good week.